Michel Barnier will make a Brexit announcement in just a few hours after Boris Johnson insisted the UK would still prosper without a deal with the EU. What time is Michel Barnier speaking today? Brexit talks continue again this week after a weekend of negotiations between Michel Barnier and Lord Frost in Brussels failed to make any further progress. A UK government source said the discussions had been difficult and that significant differences remain over fisheries and the so-called level playing field rules. The EU had previously said talks needed to be concluded by Sunday evening, but should a deal be made in the next few days an agreement could be provisionally signed off before being fully rated in 2021. Mr Barnier has told Boris Johnson that the EU remained committed to achieving a fair, reciprocal and balanced agreement, but said Britain must respect the bloc's sovereignty if talks were to succeed. But speaking from Downing Street on Monday night, the Prime Minister continued with his tough stance on Brexit, insisting Britain has got to be able to control its own laws completely. He said, it remains the case that WTO terms would be more than satisfactory for the UK. And we can certainly cope with any difficulties that are thrown in our way. Not that we don't want a deal, but WTO terms would be entirely satisfactory. Prosper mightily remains an extremely good description of life after January 1st either way. Mr Johnson's bullish tone comes after Downing Street dismissed calls to extend the transition period. As it stands, this will end at 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on December 31, 2020 whether the UK has agreed a deal or not. But London Mayor Sadiq Khan and Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon backed calls for the deadline to be extended as Britain battles the goring coronavirus pandemic. Labour leader Keir Starmer declined to join them, instead urging Mr Johnson to secure a deal with the EU. The Prime Minister's official spokesman conceded that time is obviously in very short supply to get a deal done but dismissed any calls for an extension. He added, we will need to ratify any agreement ahead of January 1st. The Leader of the House made clear that we would recall Parliament in order to give MPs a vote on the necessary legislation.